Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, as you can probably tell by both the title and this package that I have here on my desk, we're going to be doing, yes, another unboxing video. Um, I recently went, uh, you know, a few weeks ago onto the Steam store during the Steam summer sale and I purchased both the Steam Link and the Steam Controller. I've been kind of wanting these for a while, but I wanted to wait until the Steam Summer Sale um, to actually go ahead and purchase these because they do usually go on sale pretty cheap. I mean, the Steam Link goes from like 60 or $50 down to like $3. So I ended up getting the Steam Link for like three bucks um, and the Steam Controller for like uh, 30 35 bucks in total, you know with shipping and everything it came to about $45 Which is way cheaper than the 50 or $60 that each of these individually sell for so yeah uh, I know that these things aren't really new But uh, I've been kind of just wanting to play steam games on my TV recently And I was just like this is honestly one of the best ways to do it So let's just go ahead and uh, open the box here. So we're gonna go ahead and you, know, you can see that I kind of already opened up the um you know, like the main cardboard box here, but we'll go ahead and uh, open this up here. Now, I have not opened any of these packages in here. We'll go ahead and just take these out and I can show you just exactly what I got, even though I just really just said uh, what I got. We'll go ahead and set uh, the outer packing box on the ground. So yeah, we did get the Steam Controller right here and the Steam Link. The Steam Link is honestly much bigger than I thought it was. I thought it was like this, you know, really small, um, you know, little device, but uh, definitely seems a lot bigger than I thought. It's also in a larger package in the Steam Controller, but we'll go ahead and start things off with the Steam Controller here. Let's go ahead and uh, take the sleeve off. Honestly, this is some pretty nice packaging for this. Um, definitely much better, uh, you know, than I expected. As, as far as I know, Valve does not sell these in stores. You have to purchase them from Steam, although I think you can get them on Amazon, and you know, there's obviously people selling these on eBay. But uh, the best deal that you can get on these is during like a Steam sale when this Steam Link down here literally goes down to like three bucks uh, and the Steam Controller to about uh, 30 35 So yeah, uh, if you, you know, want you know, either one of these items and you uh, haven't got it already, I would definitely wait for the Steam. I think the next one is the Steam Autumn Sale or the Winter Sale, but hopefully one of these will go down uh, you know, during one of those sales. But yeah, so Steam Controller right here. Go ahead and set that aside, and I'll cut the uh, packing tape here on the bottom, and we'll go ahead and uh, open it up right here. So this is it. Um, now, I actually did use a steam controller. I'll go ahead and just uh, take this out here. I actually did use a steam controller for about five minutes when I was over at uh, one of my friend's house, and uh, he, you know, was like uh, kind of showing me it and everything, but. I did want to get one for myself. I mainly wanted to get the Steam Link, and I just decided to go ahead and get the Steam Controller. After reading a, a few mixed reviews online, a lot of people said that you know this was very good. Once you get used to it, a lot of people said that they don't prefer it. And I can definitely see why, because it is something that you do have to get used to. It's uh, it, it's you know way different from something like an Xbox One or uh, a PlayStation Four controller, as you have these two track pads that take the place of you know, the analog sticks. You do still have a analog stick down here as well as your A, B, X, and Y buttons. You've got your Steam button up there, which is to open up the big picture mode. And uh, you've got two buttons next to the Steam button. And on the bottom here, you have, well, actually, let's go to the top. You've got four shoulder buttons up here. Go ahead and, you know, check those out. You've got a micro USB port for charging. And I believe you can also uh, just like plug this in wired uh, to the Steam link or to your computer. And on the bottom here, you've got two of these bumpers. These actually are buttons, I believe. And and uh, to actually put batteries in this thing because it does run off of batteries. So yeah, this micro USB thing must not be for charging. I'm sorry, it's for um, just you know uh, hooking this up uh, wired to your computer. But uh, there's this little um, slider here on the bottom. You go ahead and uh, slide that over to the other side. This little plate pops out, and uh, this is where you put in your AA battery. So yeah. Um, I can definitely see, like I said, why the people don't prefer this, but I just thought it would be, you know, pretty cool to at least try out. Um, but yeah, so that is the Steam Control. Go ahead and uh, set that to the side here. Also in the box, we've got two Duracell AA batteries, so you know, some uh, pretty decent quality batteries, and we also have uh, the little uh, USB wireless adapter, which is honestly much bigger than something like. Uh, one of those little uh, thin Logitech uh, mouse and keyboard ones that are like super thin that they will actually fit inside. I have one of uh, the Logitech USB mice 
and it just comes with a tiny little USB adapter and it goes in the battery compartment of the mouse. So if they could make this a little bit smaller, it could fit in the Steam controller, that would be pretty cool. But um, for now, that's what they got. And I think, go ahead and uh, take this out right here. We have, um, what is this? Yeah, this I think might be, it's a micro USB to uh, full size USB A. So this might be to like, give this little uh, adapter some better range. I'm not sure. It'll probably explain it in the instruction booklet. But, uh, oh, we, so we've got in here, go ahead and pull this out. This is our, yeah, so we've got a, a, a micro USB cable, you know, pretty decent sized micro USB cable in this little uh, thing right here. And we, of course, have our quick start guide to the Steam controller and the product guide. I will go ahead and get into these later because I do want to you know, get under the Steam Link as well. And let's go ahead and move on to the Steam Link, which is kind of what I was originally just going to get the Steam Link, but I ju just decided to get the Steam Controller um, on top of it. We'll go ahead and set that aside there. So yeah, Steam Link. This package honestly feels much heavier than I thought. There's a little... Um, let me get the scissors here for that. But yeah, this honestly is much, much heavier than I thought it was going to be. But basically, if you haven't heard of the Steam Link, it's this uh, box that you basically plug into a TV in your house. I mean, it can be in, in like a whole separate room. And it basically allows you to stream a Steam game from your, you know, gaming PC. Uh, is what you would, you know, probably want, you know, want to use with this. And it uh, allows you to stream it to your TV, which you can play with your Steam controller or any of the, uh, other uh, numerous uh, supported controller. So go ahead and open this up right here. And oh, okay, yeah, this is about the size that I thought it was going to be, but it's definitely much heavier than I thought. Uh, I guess like the box made it look bigger, but yeah, that is it. Man, definitely some, you know, definitely a lot heavier. I mean, I, I, I just keep saying that, but I mean, yeah, it's got uh, this, this you know, little padded thing on the bottom here. You've got, uh, I believe, yeah, that's the power port right there. You've got two USB ports, Ethernet port if you want to, you know, plug this in hardwire to get uh, the best possible connection, uh, you know, to your computer. And you've got your HDMI out. Now, let's see if they include an HDMI cable. That actually be will be very helpful um, because I don't have an a, uh, extra one down here. I'd have to go up in my attic to get another one, which I don't feel like doing. So if they include one, that would be really great. Um, of course, we've got the Steam Link Quick Start Guide. Uh, Steam Link product guide. We'll go ahead and set that aside. We've got a this box still honestly feels pretty heavy even with the Steam Link out of it. I wonder what else is in here. We'll go ahead and pull this out here. And this is like, man, this is like a whole like you know another package in here. We'll go ahead and slice this open right here. We'll see what uh, what we got in here. Go ahead and throw that aside there. In here we've got oh my goodness they've <laughs> that's why it was so heavy. They've got like. Uh, some universal, not universal, but uh, some adapters for different countries. So I believe this one is Australia. Um, let's see if I can get these right. I know people will probably correct me down below. I think this is, is this the UK? I want to say that's the UK. I'm not sure. And this one, I am not sure. I think this one might be Australia. I'm not sure. Somebody, you know, correct me down in the comments. But yeah, you've got three different adapters for, uh, you know, if you lived in a different country. And you've got, you know, it, it uh, comes pre-installed with uh, the, you know, US one. Honestly, kind of reminds me of like, uh, you know, the little Apple, uh, like the MacBook adapters. It uh, kind of works with the same system where I could go ahead and if I lived in Australia, I think, <laughs> you know, not sure which one that is. But yeah, you can very easily change uh, adapters. So that is definitely really nice. Was not expecting that at all. Um, but yeah, you've got your, is this an HDMI cable? Please be an HDMI cable. Yes, it's an HDMI cable. Thank you, Valve. I really appreciate that. An HDMI cable, and we've got a, you know, the power cable, of course, like I said. There's something else in here. Ah, yes, an Ethernet cable. Check that out. So they include everything in the box that you need to get started with this. They include the Ethernet, HDMI, power cord, and even uh, three extra, um, you know, different country adapters to where if you live somewhere other than in the U.S. or Canada that uses this type of plug, you would you would be covered. So definitely really neat. Um, definitely going to have to give thumbs up to Valve for just including all the stuff in the box. But yeah, there you have it. That is a quick unboxing of the Steam Link and the Steam Controller. Definitely excited to, uh, you know, get this hooked up to my TV. I may actually do a follow-up video to this, 
you know, if I feel like it, but that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely sure to go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this in the near future, be sure to go ahead and get subscribed down below. And also be sure to drop me a comment letting me know your thoughts on the Steam Link or the Steam Controller. Do you own one? Do you want one? Um, what has your you know experience been you know using uh, either of these devices? Do you like them? Do you not? I always love you know reading what you guys have to say. And uh, yeah, that's just going to go ahead and uh, wrap it up for this video. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.